and then for bedtime, um, I read them three stories, sing two songs, and say prayers. Then when the kids are in bed, that's the time that I spend with my husband. I can do a love dare, and I have papers for that too. I'll show you. Um, if you have schoolwork, you can do some schoolwork, work on a goal. Um, that's that goal sheet that I was telling you about. Um, you might do that throughout the day. Um, uh, extra income is just th either thinking of ways to earn extra money or doing something that will earn extra money. Filling out your finance or budget sheet. Um, filling in your journal if you have a blog or both. Um, and then I shower and blow dry my hair, but that could be, um, if you do it in the morning, then you would put it in the morning routine. If you have pets, I don't have pets, but you could put when to feed your pets, um, or if you take medication, etc. So you can make this your own. Then you could do a weekly checklist. I don't use this. I use my favorite I got from motivational moms and it's a 52 week um, plan that cleans your whole house so it like um, gives you different chores to do throughout the day like I said I have three weekly chores that I do and then at night I'll do three weekly chores um, this is a sample of one week each week is different so you're not always doing the exact same thing um, but it keeps your house really clean. Anyway, so I have all these weekly plans. So I just do the one for the day. Then I have a monthly calendar. This is where I keep birthdays, events that are going on, classes that I'm taking, holidays. Go here. And then I'll have for that month appointments that need to go on so for instance you need to have a dentist appointment every six months so in August I have a dentist appointment and then in February I have a dentist appointment and then also write what checkups that you need so um, I have a young child so he needs one for every 15 18 months and then a year etc and then for my toddler like he needs one every year, so whenever it's his birth, like his birthday is in March, so in March it will say Cadence Checkup. Then I have home maintenance, so what home maintenance things need to be done that month. And so I have a whole year's worth of every month is something different that needs to be done for home maintenance. Um, what car maintenance things need to be done that month. And then events that you want it to happen that month. So for instance, October is probably a, a better month to show you. So here's um, October. So you can see the car maintenance, the home maintenance is all different. Um, the events like visit the pumpkin patch, go to a haunted house, hay wagon, car pumpkins, those are things that you'd only do in October. But they don't have set dates, um, but things that you want to do that month. So you want to schedule these events in that month. And that's how that works. Then I have, um, I came out with 365 quotes that were my favorite and I put each one on a date so I'll read the quote of the day um, and if you want one of these you can email me or just ask me and I will send this over to you the, this is all um, under my one a day so I'll read one of these then I'll pick a love dare so I came out with um, over 100 ideas of ways that I can strengthen my relationship with my husband. So I'll pick one for the day, like take a walk together around the neighborhood. And that will be my love dare for the day, is that when he gets home, we'll do that. So I have a lot of those. Then I have 
activities. I came out with over 300 activities that you could do with your family. So you're not always having to do the same thing. I'll let my kids pick an activity that they want to do. Um, and then we'll do the activity for the day. So if we go back to here for our playtime and activity, the family activity actually comes from all these activities that I have to do. So we'll cho choose one of those. Then I have my scripture reading chart. Um, I wanted to read the standard works in a year, so I came up with a plan of um, it would actually tell me for the day what you need to read through. So that way I would finish by the end of the year. Um, challenges, this is something that will help you or help someone else, but it kind of changes your day. Again, it makes a difference in your life or in someone else's life, and it keeps you from doing the exact same thing every day. So um, it could be organize your paperwork or drink eight glasses of water today. It's just um, a random thing to do. The fourth one is finances. I have a zippered thing that keeps the calculator, pens, pencils, markers. That way um, when I fill out or do my budgeting, it's there when I need it. This is to, um, you can fill out what days um, certain things come out um, of your paycheck or what bills you have or um, schoolwork uh, projects that need to be done. Then I have this finances folder that keeps all my bills and everything in here. Then I have a balance log that um, keeps track of all your spending so if you went to Target, you'd write down Target, um, just personal, if it was budgeted or not, and the amount. And then the cash log is if you went to Target, you'd write down everything that you bought at Target. So whatever's on your receipt, so you know exactly what you're spending your money on. And then this is just the overview. Then you have a debt log, so um, if you have any debts that need to be paid off, they're all here. My Perfect Home. Um, I love this because you can go through each room and you write down exactly what you'd want for that room. What would make that room perfect? Is it a flat screen TV? Is it a certain type of couch? Or what furniture would you need? Um, so you just write down everything that you want. That way you're not... Um, buying stuff that doesn't fit in that room or um, just buying things that you don't need that you can save up for certain items and know exactly what it is that you want. So I have all that. Then I have my life expectancy for household items. So you need to budget these things as well. Um, certain things only last so long. So um, also to know when to throw out um, like spices or cosmetics um, so whenever you bought it right however long from that time is when you need to replace it and you need to write that here the fifth one is journal um, I don't keep my journal in here but it lets me know what I need to write in my journal so you're writing what you did that day if you wanted to add any pictures because um, when you pass on this might be something that you'd want to show your kids um, show them like what difference you made um, any memorable moments is things that maybe your kids did um, a milestone what challenged you and how can you overcome that challenge so you're actually learning from things that happen um, what did you learn? A lesson that you want to remember or pass on to other people that um, you would want to teach them. List five things you're grateful for. And then the things I have accomplished is on the back. So you're writing down um, something that you accomplished that day, whether it's 
you clean the house 